in a scenario where application is attempted to install but it fails to install one question i often ask to myself is what is the error in software center what does that particular error mean and what could be possible solutions in this particular video we are going to speak and discuss on that particular thing if you are new to this particular channel please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM that is Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager and click the bell icon to get notification so application is attempting to install but it fails to install in software center there are certain moments where app fails to install and we get a lot of error codes now there could be many errors but the error that I have mentioned over here is based on the most popular errors that I have seen getting reported in my environment so 0x1 that is incorrect function so this particular parameter or the information that I'm sharing is based on the CM trace error lookup tool where you see these are a few of the error lookup definition information that we are seeing it over here so coming back my personal observation whenever we are seeing this particular issue is that the application residuals are left out in the terms that application is not installing properly because there are few of the components which are already existing and that is creating a block so on multiple apps wherever I see this particular error I go to the add room programs that is app base and I uninstall it once the application is uninstalled then again retry from the software center it installs successfully and even if you can see if there is a registry high where this particular information is already present then you can do that manual check and remove it and then retry because this has given me a good successful result earlier the issue that used to be reported is deployment failed in the reporting the next error is 0xd, 00213, 27c, 05b4. This all are referring to timeout occurred. I was seeing a DCM agent log where I see this particular version info timeout. And I saw a popular blog in Microsoft website where this particular issue is explained. And I was able to fix this particular issue by renaming CCM store.sdf file or by reinstalling the client. So there is a video which I created which has complete information on this particular issue as I was seeing multiple apps with waiting for maintenance window and never got the app installed. The reason is it was timing out. On this particular YouTube channel, this particular video device is stuck in waiting for maintenance window has a complete detail of troubleshooting step that can be applied for fixing this issue which is related to waiting for maintenance window or version info timeout moving forward 0x87b00324 it's a detection issue where application is installed however it is not getting detected the software package installs but the software detection rule was not found so the best way to understand what the detection method is log into the console and in this particular console software library application where we see this particular application go to properties of the application we will see a deployment type select the app we need to edit it here there is a detection method where there are multiple detection methods that can be set this particular detection we can see we need to edit and just review what is the setting so this is a windows installer setting there could be file system that could be registry whatever information is there just check that particular information on that particular client machine if it's located then the issue should not be there most probably the detection method is where this particular setting is missing on the client device and that's where we see that particular issue which is linked to detection issue similarly the next one 0325 detection issue where the application is uninstalled successfully but the software detection rule is not found again you can review the uninstalled logs check application installation status in the app viz that will give a good idea another installation is in progress 1618 1612 so this particular information is basically 
the best way is to restart the computer. If you don't want to restart the computer, then check the services in the task manager. If something is already running, kill the service and then check it out. 1612 installation source for that particular product is not available. Verify that particular product in CCM cache is that folder is present. There could be high possibility that folder is not present. The download have not happened. So better to check it out. Similarly, like for this particular issue, 8004154 class not registered. This could be WMI issue where you can repair, rebuild the WMI CCM repair client reinstallation. I have attempted all these fixes on certain devices and that has given a positive result. And that's the reason I'm referring this particular thing over here. This may help out. This particular errors are out of space where the hard disk space is out of quota or it could be CCM cache. There is a limitation that is placed on the CCM cache, which you can check. And if that particular limit is full, then that could be another possible reason. So next is 0x6431603 fatal error during installation. So all these errors are related to fatal error where one or more processes are running that could be preventing the enforcement action. So restart the machine or clear CCM cache, retry, check event log that will give a better idea. So these are a few more additional error codes which I able to find out when I was reviewing uh, this particular error codes. So I've just jolted out few of the pointers which are related to this. So this may also help out. The solution may not be provided over here because I haven't worked on that, but this may give us some clue what could be possible solutions. These are the error codes where I have personally worked and able to get the solution. So this may be really helpful. Now, along with this, I have also created a blog where all these error codes are mentioned so that it can help you when you review this particular thing. So the blog name is mcmworld.blogspot.com where this entire information on software center install error codes is mentioned. So you can have a check. Also the YouTube link which I was referring to is there. Detection issue and whatever information. So this is really helping me when I am troubleshooting this particular issues in my environment and I hope that the information which I am sharing over here will also help you. So if you find this particular information is really useful, you are liking the content which I am sharing. So please like, please comment on this particular video because your comments are really helping me, motivating me to keep sharing a lot more knowledge sessions which I am going through every time. So thank you for watching this particular video. Do like, do comment and please subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. So with this, this is Yagnesh Malavia signing out until I meet you again in the next video. Thank you.